Now let's talk about common design patterns for sending data out of an asynchronous system. In this example, we have another representation, that third party domain that we need to send data to. For example, that third party can be a RESTful endpoint that we have to send some information. Whether it's an update or a transaction or a billing operation, the idea is that we have the same three basic options for dealing with it. In option A, we're gonna start with, we've established a domain that wraps our third party. And the way it's gonna work is we're gonna have an endpoint that's simply a pass through to the third party. The first question here is, is the third party domain endpoint really needed? Why doesn't the service just call the third party directly? Generally, I like to put a buffer around third parties, especially third parties with unknown reliability. The idea is that we can do some error handling here to make it easier for other services to reach into this third party domain. However, note that the way this works though, is there really isn't robust error handling built into this architecture. If this service calls this service and this service is down, what do I do? Do I tell them to retry? Do I keep trying for some period of time? What do I do if it goes on for more than 24 hours? So this, this particular scenario can be a lot harder to handle the errors. With option B though, we've done something which is a little bit more reliable, where we've split up the path to call this endpoint into two. And so what happens is that we call the endpoint in our third party domain, that third party domain puts the event on the event bus and we're done. That puts a little bit more complexity on the calling service though. And it requires knowledge of, I just put it there, did it actually work? We're not gonna know unless the sending is attempted. The advantage of this design pattern though, is that by putting it on the event bus, the third party were to go down, no problem, because we now have a sender application that just listens to the event bus and takes those events and sends them to the third party. If the third party is down, no problem. We just keep retrying them until they're back up again, preferably using some form of exponential back off so you're not spamming that third party. The final option is similar to the other previous option where it takes the complexity and puts the dispatching of the event on the domain itself. So instead of calling a RESTful endpoint in this case to trigger the sending of the third party domain, we're putting an event on an event bus and then relying on the third party domain itself to pick up that event and handle the dispatching of it itself within the domain. And so this takes the complexity of the endpoint and really puts it inside of the third party domain so that the calling domain doesn't have to worry about it. 